Hiya, welcome to Noble Recon. Uh, today's just a quick video on how you can get out of one of those weird situations where you find that your radiator um, valve is damaged and your radiator key just keeps spinning in there. Um, the option, I've, I've spoke to a plumbing engineer, heating and plumbing, and they said because it's the valve that's connected into the radiator, i.e. it's not in one of those um, white plastic caps, the whole radiator would need to be changed. Um, but I thought differently, so let's have a quick look at how we can get you out of this little hole in just a few minutes. So what you can see is the center pin, or whatever you call it, has been damaged. Um, so it doesn't quite fit. So if we put the radiator key in, you can see it just spins, because it's not getting a it's not fixing on it properly um, so so I've got my radiator key and all I'm going to do is take a pair of grips um, and just gently because it's quite soft metal so <laughs> the cheaper your radiator key the better and just I'm gently going to nip the end and just try and squeeze it um, in a bit so it's going to compress so there we go you can see that it's slightly deformed but hopefully that's going to clamp on the um, valve now so let's go take a look at that now that we've got our new pressed key let's see if this works so it locates in ah, there we go Okay, and that radiator is now bled. We have a new <laughs> master key. And there we have it, a quick get out of jail free that you could do in a couple of minutes and it'll save you three to 400 quid getting your radiator change. And now this is uh, a master key for that radiator. Thanks for joining us and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.